We're in Purbo Bardhaman's Osgram constituency, one seat which uh, garnered a lot of national interest and national attention, I beg your pardon, uh, after the BJP chose Kalita Maji as its pick for the seat. Now, who's Kalita Maji? We'll tell you about it. But before that, five phases of elections are over, Pradeep. And, uh, uh, you know, going by your analysis, going by, uh, you know, Janki Bhatt's coverage, it seems like you've already declared the verdict. I've not declared the verdict yet. I'm just saying that uh, voters are voting fearlessly. There is a strong sentiment to vote fearlessly because this is for the first time that uh, Bengal in the past many years is voting mm. despite without any chapa voting. That mm. is very important. Number two is that women along with youth are coming out to vote in large numbers. Mm. And number three is that a lot of voting has taken place in the morning. So mm. in Bengal, you don't see a lot of voting which is take, which takes place mm. in the late hours. This right. is a very different trend than other states. Mm. So these are three important points. But yes, if you ask me phase by phase, I can tell you I have already done five phase analysis and I have the numbers for the five phase. But because of election commission guidelines, I can't declare that. Uh, but you know, you've been talking about how voters are voting fearlessly. If we just go by the numbers and the data that's available with us, Bengal traditionally has, you know, seen voter turnout in a large number. You might say that, okay, that was Chapa voting. But, uh, you know, what, what, what is different this time? Uh, uh, Sagrika, there are many things which are different. Number one different uh, point this time is that the Trinamool Congress is facing a real con uh, uh, competition after 2011, uh, particularly in the form of the BJP. BJP mm. was hardly present in any booths in 2016 mm. and from there within a period of five years present in every other booth is a huge achievement. Number two, this election for me initially as an, an you know when I was analyzing it was about whether people of Bengal want to give uh, one Mamta Banerjee back or not but mm. now it has uh, shifted to whether people of Bengal want to give Narendra Modi a first chance in Bengal or not. Uh, and, 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 what's, uh, and what's the sense that you're getting? You know, when you talk about giving that, I mean, the election you're What I can definitely say, from... Shadrika, is that uh, uh, many clubhouse, people in the clubhouse uh, uh, who do their analysis on a clubhouse uh, said that 100 is the number that BJP cannot cross. Mm. I don't know uh, 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 what are they thinking and how are they thinking and what they are having while they are thinking. Your reference is very, very, uh, you know, you may not name the person, but your reference is, Nothing is, is very you. clear. Uh, the person who said the same also said that he will leave, he will cease to exist as uh, the political aid or political, uh, you know, um, advisor to politicians uh, if this number or if uh, what he's saying may not be true. So why do you think someone would say that with such confidence, especially after I that I think it's his job to say that because he is the advisor to Trinamool Congress. Uh, there are still three phases to go more than 100 seats. But, uh, and I give it to him uh, for uh, uh, whatever he has done and accomplished for himself. But at least on Beng uh, Bengal, I want to talk. This is my 18th election and it's been three months since I've been on the ground with a team of 100 people. Uh, I think uh, what has been said uh, might not be true on the ground. You know, you've constantly maintained that this is this is a symbol election. That Absolutely. In, yes. You know, in constituencies where the Trinamool has fielded its very very strong candidates, candidates who have uh, you know, uh, you know, candidates who connected with the people of the constituency. Over there, if there is no consolidation as such, if there is no polarization as such, even in such seats, do you think? Uh, you know, the BJP has an edge. I see polarization. You need to understand wherever there is 15, 20 percentage, 20 percentage plus Muslims, that is where a phenomenon of polarization comes as a counter to the appeasement which was practiced if, as per the voters, the, they told me this. So mm. you can't say that every seat won by the BJP, if the BJP wins uh, in Bengal, is only because of uh, polarization. That is a phenomenon in seats which are 25 percentage plus Muslims. But a lot of places, grassroots corruption is also an issue. And uh, whatever vote Trinamool was initially getting was only getting because of Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee. Now, at this moment, as I said, that there's a very, uh, very uh, big shift of people first deciding whether they want Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee back or not. And now whether people wanting PM Modi first once in Bengal or not. That's why if you see, the Trinamool has also stopped asking the BJP who their Chief Ministerial candidate is. Mm. In fact, in the past 20 days, I have not even seen, rarely have I seen anybody ask the BJP who their chief ministerial candidate was. There's a shift in the five phases, which was not even accept, um, anticipated by me in the past. Mm. But that shift is a very uh, uh, important shift. Many uh, analysts believe, like have, have rightly said, many analysts have actually, uh, you know, said that Muslims will vote uh, as they one are. for for yeah. uh, Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee. Now that, uh, you know, comes back, then we come back to the question will, of the uh, Hindu vote and we come back to I, the question yeah. of polarization. Um, are you not seeing any divide in the Hindu vote? See, understand this, like, for example, in the phase five, the BJP last, if, as per to the 2019 uh, trend, 
uh, got more vote share than the Trinamool Congress, but Trinamool Congress got one seat more than the BJP. Mm. So uh, whether the Muslim votes, uh, Muslims together vote as one bloc, but uh, whether that will result in comp uh, conversion of seats is another question. So let's imagine that there are 30 percentage Muslims in the constituency, and all the 30 percentage goes to uh, the Trinamool Congress. Mm. But what about a 60 percentage consolidation uh, against the Trinamool Congress only because of that consolidation of the Muslims? So you remember, you understand, even in the UP, that was a phenomenon which very few people could see. Mm. People used to say that you know in the West is where the BJP will do very bad mm. because the uh, Ajit, uh, Ajit Singh and all the alliance have uh, worked, then the BJP will have difficulty in the West. And I used to say that West is where the BJP will do good mm. because 30 percent, 17, 18 percent Muslims are there, and there is a counter polarization which is taking place. Mm. So I think you need to understand, and this theory has to be put in perspective. And another point is that uh, you know a lot of places in South 24 Parganas, like for example a phase uh, which that was phase three where the BJP was zero even as a 2019 tradition, the BJP is seen to uh, seem to be gaining in the uh, uh, from the ground. Mm. So if in Trinamool stronghold, the BJP is uh, even marginally improving its tally and it, in BJP stronghold, let's say North Bengal, the BJP continues to be strong, then it reflects a larger sentiment. There are still three phases to go, uh, but uh, those three phases, uh, particularly say for example in Murshidabad, Murshidabad is around 22 seats, where largely it will be a Trinamool or, uh, or left uh, 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 this is the fight between the Trinamool and the left. Mm. So, uh, yes, and in fact, on the, the symbol part, uh, Sagrika, say a seat like Siligodi, if symbol is not important, then why will you see BJP becoming a main contender to a very strong left candidate as Ashok Bhattacharya? But there, also Shankar, of the, uh, who was, was first with CPM. left mm. CPM, now is with the BJP, is pulling away the young uh, left voters. So, even if there is a uh, close margin, it reflects the larger trend in place. In fact, the seat which you are standing, we had in our opinion poll given it to the Trinamool Congress. But at this moment, you've seen that the BJP is in competition and you cannot deny the BJP. A lot will depend on who votes, how much voting happens. Mm. So, uh, that is what I have to say right now. Uh, and that's why I say that it is a simple election. No, you know, is it a simple election or is it an election fought only and only on the premise of polarization? The BJP has mm -hmm. successfully done it. In fact, uh, in Nandigram itself, before Nandigram went to vote, in the last few days of campaigning, it had become highly, See, I will say highly, this is highly communal. This is not an election which is fought on the basis of polarization. This is an election where uh, uh, a very focused appeasement has led to a sentiment of polarization. Well, what which has been focused appeasement? Mean? A focused appeasement which, uh, means that in the, particularly in 2000, 2018 for me is an inflection point where a lot of people were not given an opportunity to vote. This along with uh, the schemes that what people tell us uh, have been... Uh, what about know, the schemes that people talk about? Like a lot of women you've no spoken doubt. to, a lot of women voters you've spoken to actually talk about the benefits that they've reaped out Absolutely of schemes yes. like Rupa and that's why, that is why That is why we are saying that even in a constituency, let's say, which has 85 percentage or 90 percentage Hindus, where polarization is not an important factor. There, the, the Trinamool Congress, wherever the, the schemes of the Trinamool Congress has reached the voters, that is where the Trinamool Congress is in competition, but the catch is that a lot of places the local grassroots level corruption is something which takes away the uh, complete utilization of that effect. So mm. let's say that if uh, the scheme is uh, 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 the women is getting a benefit of the scheme, mm. but at that position if they have to pay a cut money at the local level, mm. that is what it resists the people from completely converting the effect of the scheme into. In vote. the last few, in the last few phases that are left now, coronavirus, the second wave of the coronavirus has become, uh, you know, a very very big issue. People are talking about it. In fact, even voters are kind of scared of going out. Uh, in the fifth phase, it wasn't a very big factor. But do you think in the next few phases, uh, you know, the, if, if the campaign is, wo is, is woven around coronavirus and the surge in cases, will it hamper the mindset of the voter? It can in the Calcutta region, uh, particularly in the 15 seats of uh, uh, Calcutta. Mm. But I don't think so. Uh, that will have an impact in uh, the sixth phase where not 24 Parganas, Uttar Dinajpur, Nadia are uh, going to poll and Bardhaman particularly. Because if you see, even in this constituency, mm. when we spoke to voters, they said we'll go to vote wearing a mask. Mm. So I don't see that uh, as a phenomena. In Calcutta, we have to study how uh, Calcutta will vote uh, particularly after the entire uh, COVID uh, mm. surge. But whatever, uh, we've always, I have maintained that Trinamool Congress is strong in Calcutta. Mm. So uh, that, if, uh, that uh, again will depend uh, which voters come out to vote, whether it is the Trinamool voters or the BJP voters, if the voting percentage is low. Which voter has the Bharatiya Janata Party managed to sway as per your analysis and run work? 
the young voter, the woman voter, See, the Indian voter. I was of this. I was of this opinion in the pa- in, in the past that uh, the women are majorly with Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee. Hmm. But now what I'm seeing, particularly uh, traveling on the ground in the past three and a half to four weeks, I am seeing a lot of rural women also uh, not uh, uh, giving a trend. Which is uh, opposite to my thesis in the past. Yeah. See, I'll give you there are two, uh, there are few uh, 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 districts which are swing districts, and there are few districts which are mini swing districts. A swing district is a Birbhum and a Murshi, uh, and a, a Medhnipur, which completely was a Trinamool district, and now might show a completely counter trend. Yeah. There are the mini swing district like a Nadia, yeah. which also was a Trinamool district in the past. They are seeing a BJP surge. Yeah. So uh, in all these places, yeah. what I like, for example, I was in this constituency. Ranagat, uh, Ranagat Uttarpur, mm. uh, that is around 20 percent of Muslim population. Mm. In that, you see women decisively voting in a lot of uh, in, in significant numbers. Mm. A plastic flower, yeah. uh, you know, in the in, in a lush green jungle. So on on May second, will uh, you know will 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 the result end up like a plastic flower? <laughs> I can't say that. Uh, I will only say, uh, comment on that uh, on the 29th of April. But what I can definitely tell you is that this coming phase. We'll decide a lot on uh, the uh, will seal the verdict. This coming phase will seal the verdict. Yeah, because, but you've been saying that in every phase. Because I'm <laughs> <laughs> because I'm uh, respecting the uh, nuances of every phase. But this coming phase, I say it with a reason because uh, this is the last phase, according to me, where things can turn in a big way. Because finally, so many have gone ahead and made tall claims. Do you want to make any such claim? That you know, if uh, if this number is proven to be wrong, I will cease to exist as this. If num this number pro- proves to be right, I will do this. So, do you uh, want to make? I don't make claims. Claim? I just work on the ground. So let's wait for 29th. I'll uh, let's see uh, whether it's a very good team which has worked on the ground. So it's just not my work. It's the team's work, and uh, I'm quite confident. In fact, reasonably confident. Reasonably confident. Uh, let's wait for the 29th. That's when Janki Bhat comes out with its exit poll. Its opinion poll, in fact, had uh, created quite a bit of a storm. But 29th is when you will know the verdict before the real verdict is out. Stay tuned.